Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Now, if you're wondering why everything's very, very shiny, like win, this is because I set up some tactics. Let's have a look at them. Right, tactics. Uh, so for me, I put up dual weapon sweep if surrounded by three enemies. It seems sensible, and next to slot. We'll do win last. Morrigan, I changed her up a little bit. I've now got her activating Shimmering Shield if enemies are attacking her. Though she should stop activating if they're not attacking her. Changed when she uses Drain Life. Uh, stopped using Horror and everything. So that should be a little bit better. Alistair, I made it so you use Holy Smite. If the enemy is using a magic attack, therefore they must be a mage. Therefore they have mana, so Holy Smite is worth using. That was my logic. And if he's surrounded by two enemies, he will war cry. Which do some stuff. And win. I went a bit mad on her because she has twelve tactic slots because they apparently when you get her she has max level combat training. So she has every single healing ability on automatic. Even revival. If ally is dead, I didn't realise there was this. If ally's dead, revival. For in combat rock armor. Less than 20% health. Anyway, the reason that she's all shiny is because if she has greater than certain numbers of mana and stamina, she'll be activating her sustained abilities. Because there's no reason not to. If she goes below that, she'll disactivate them. She'll deactivate them. Seems sensible to me. Cleansing Aura is also useful to have because it removes injuries. Okay, so... Something that I didn't do was level up. So, Morrigan. Uh, I can't quite remember where we're going with this. I think we're putting a couple points in... Con we're raising Constitution, because I didn't raise that enough early. And I think either Willpower or Magic. Not really having a trouble with mana right now. We'll try Magic. A bit more Magic. Shapeshifter. I still don't like Shapeshifter. It means you don't have a mage. Which is, like, why would you do that? Uh, right, so. Interesting going down Arcane Mastery, because it gets you lots of nice stuff. Uh, don't really need to go down the healer path anymore. I imagine I'll have Win with me a lot of the time from now on, because she's just very, very useful. Let's continue going down Hex or Mortality. So Mortality... Uh, cannot heal or regenerate, and then Death Cloud. Don't really need another. Death Cloud's effectively another Blizzard. Or Misdirection Hex, where all miss it. All hits become misses, while critical hits become normal hits. Every normal hit it suffers becomes critical. Okay, so this would be good for bosses, so we'll do that. Morgan? Where is it? Oh. This bar is too cluttered. Locking the bars. That was my problem. Uh, move this here. This here. Here. This one. Actually. Do that. That'll work for me. Then we can move the hex out into the rest of the hexes. Got it. Fine. Lock the bar and we are ready to go. So, where were we? We're on the map. We're just continuing going around the circle. So we came up from this direction. Just making sure we're going the right way around. Going towards the harrowing chamber. So, did we finish the floor? I'm fairly certain we searched this room. Uh, so, right, we came in from here. Walked in like this. This was where the demon we accidentally killed was. Seems odd to say that. Right, in here. Control Morgan. Throw out Templars who are all controlled by this mage. Get the mage. Ooh. Dead? What was that trap? Um. She's using revival, which is good. Glad that it got tested. Would hate for that not to be, uh. working. Yeah, she's reviving. She's lower than that amount of mana, so she's rejuvenating. Yes, yeah, mass rejuvenation, because people are still below that amount of mana. 
I like it. My ta It's a good tactics test. Uh, we should summon the wolf. All right. Also, I just noticed that this bothers me. These are too close together. Right. Summon the wolf. Uh, she is alive, which is surprising. Right. We're going to send Alpax in after the uh, mage. Can we stun the mage? Get behind it and start stabbing. Right. Alpax might not survive, but that's fine. Let's see what we got here. Morgan? Damage die, okay. Do you have no mana? No mana, okay. Lurian potion, let's freeze. Right. Alpax in a bit of trouble. You can take a potion. It'll be fine. And then dual weapon sweep for the kill. Oh, that was cool. Right. Uh, Blight Wolf. What's that? Shred. Right, I'll do. And then Howl. Lurian Potion. Perfect. That was interesting. What actually hit us? So it looks like it was just a spike trap. Oh, right. Everyone get around win. Where's cleansing aura? See, that removes the injury from Morgan. Oh, I should now turn off cleansing aura. Uh, just a spike trap. Must be in spike trap with another attack. Like, ooh, arc and robes. They're kind of cool. Uh, what are we getting rid of for them? Uh, deep mushrooms. Don't need them. I mean, I have a lot, of them, but don't need them. Uh, are those better than your robes? Let's save the game before we have a look. Uh, she's currently using senior enchanter's robes. They don't look better, but they might be. Hmm. They're not better. Because uh, magic gives you spell power, so that's equal. Willpower is better than health regeneration, because that allows you to heal more. And defense is probably better than armor. I think they're roughly equivalent. All right. I think they reduce the same amount. Oh, we, she used haste. Explains it. Does that speed me up? Haste? Yeah. It actually speeds the characters up. So, uh... Inadvertently, I created a way for us to play quicker, because it means I walk faster. Oh my god, what are you? Visitors, I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. Um, first question, how are you speaking without a mouth? Um. Oh, yeah, who's the dead person? He's just resting. Poor lad, he was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Um, you like hadn't planned on it. Lay down and forget about all this. Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. What are you doing? Why do you fight. You deserve more. <sighs> you yeah. deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Uh, not true. Where the last two Grey Wardens? Blight? No? Um, okay. Uh, not happy being here. We're gonna summon the bear for comfort. We're not gonna do any such thing. Is that... Is that Duncan? Are we in Ostagar? This could be Ostagar. Warden, Warden. Hi. Welcome, my friend. We fought the good fight and won. Rejoice. Oh, good. We won. Good. End of the game. Yep, we're done. 
See you at Dragon Age 2. Hmm. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? <sighs> yeah, you should be dead. Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissoft. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? Uh... No. Well, it's ruined. You are unused to peace, but in time you will grow to love it. We need no longer fear the Darkspawn. Oh. Okay. Good. Why don't I have to do that anymore? Just out of curiosity. The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. Oh, good. It was a triumph for all of us. Bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Uh... Cool. Well, we're not needed anymore. The Grey Wardens shall be keepers of history. We shall tell tales and sing songs of a more tumultuous time. That others may rejoice in knowing that that time is past. Um. No, no, that's not what we do. And I suppose you know the Grey Wardens better than I do? Foolish child. I have given you so much and you've cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. All we need do now is rest and take pride in what we have accomplished. Okay, let's try resting. Yep, this is boring. Yes, is there something you wish to speak to me about? Uh, yeah, something feels amiss. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Um, that's not what I meant. Like, we could have played a game of chess or something. Wolf. Come on, wolf. Still can't use that ability here. Alright, stun Duncan. Let's get behind him. We'll take him out. Stab him. Sweet. Kick. Keep stabbing Duncan. Next one's the mage. Ooh. Beheaded him. Back to stab. Stabs. Ooh. He stunned me. And then he died. Cool. I still don't entirely know what this is. That looks really pretty awesome. Well, let's move on. Ah, yes. So, in case you don't know, this is the Fade. Generally considered to be one of the worst, the weaker parts of the game. I mean, I dislike the Deep Roads more, but we'll see. Where did you come from? Maybe I'll learn to hate. Demon. No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course I did. I knew it was a trap. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Oh. Um, so, who are you? My name is Nyal. Oh, you're I'm dead, aren't you? I saw you on the floor. When I encountered the sloth demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, Owen. He was the guy hiding in the closet. He did mention you. Oh, no, he was the Tranquil. He has the litany we need. Litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. Ah, uh, not true. Um, uh, Wind's alive. But Blood Mage's domination? Assume what that's what they're doing to the Templars? 
They get into your mind and take control of your body. You can't stop what they make you do. But the litany protects against that. The litany was our only hope of saving the circle. But now, this place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, my... Hmm. Well, we'll find a way out. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. Um... So, could my companions be there? I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. Uh, so the protective ward? I don't know much. I think the sloth demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the sloth demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. Hmm. What kind of obstacles are we here to face? Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. The silly thing fled before I could question it. Before you could do what? Yeah. Because almost everyone here is a dreamer, except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage, or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. I'm sorry, you just sound crazy. Don't mind me then. Um, well, yeah, I'm gonna go. Which way are we gonna go, though? This way? Into the portal. Uh. Oh, there's a mouse. Uh, save it. Sweet. Perfect. Here, mousey, mousey, mousey. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina. The demoness that rules here, she protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. I'm Take going mad. Power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... I'm a mouse. I'm a stealthy mouse. So, uh, table. Yep, useful mouse thing to see. For a small mouse tunnel. Is that a mouse tunnel? Mouse hole. Perfect. Hmm. I'm still stealthed. And there's the fade portal, so see you later, Rage Demon. Oh. On the other hand, I can use this to my advantage for a quick backstab. Okay, I can't stun these guys. Useful to know. 
Right, through the fade portal. Okay, this doesn't open until we kill all of the enemies. Now remember that much. Stab. Can we? St we can't stun the shades either. Okay, we can't stun any of these guys. Keep stabbing. Come on. Oh, it's taking a while. Okay, we just need to run. Pop uh, some poison just so that we can uh, survive the section. They're in vain to put us back to full uh, mana. Perfect. Now, I think this means that we can use the door. Could be wrong, but I believe that opens the... Okay, that doesn't open the door. Hmm. Uh, the door will open, though, after we do some... Maybe we have to kill every single enemy. I'll do that. I became a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? Yes. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shades? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. I'm on to just roll with it at this point. The light. We have unlocked the areas around the outside. So, for people who don't know how this works, you clear the areas on the outside. This unlocks these areas, which contain people we need to help. And once we have all those people, and we've cleared all the outside areas, we can then get into the inner sanctum and fight the sloth demon. Demon. So... The rest of this is puzzles. Effectively. Uh, okay, do we have any mouse holes? We have one mouse hole here. I'm going to use mouse form a lot right now. Just because I'm not actually strong enough, I don't think, to fight all of the enemies just yet. And... I will get significantly stronger, so let's hold out hope for that. Ooh, an Essence of Cunning. These are useful to pick up because it just gives you permanent increase to stats. I believe it's the only place in the game that does this. It's just here. Have some stats. Although I think there's another place in Awakening that does this as well. But I haven't played that, so... Wouldn't entirely know. Lots of fire. We're cool. Hmm. Two enemies. I can't open the door without revealing myself. I think I'll be able to fight the two enemies. If they come to me. Right, run out. Acid flask. Oh. Forget forget what I said. I'll be able to fight the enemies. The, the enemies won't be an issue. So, which way do I want to go? I don't want to go back this way, because this just leads to the same area. So I want to go forward. Uh, I might want to go mouse. Is that a mouse hole? Yep. Okay, so I need to open the door. Uh, let's try hiding around the corner. Perfect. Works as planned. Stun the hurlock. Continue attacking. 
keeping the stabbing going. I mean, if this uh, magic dealer is willing to just uh, use defensive spells, then I'm on to let him. Oh, wow. Stealthy mouse. There's fire. We can't go through fire. We can't go through the mouse hole. Lead us here. Templar spirit, dark spawn spirit. Okay. Hello. Uh, okay. Let's try saving the Templar. Let's get rid of this uh, dark spawn mage. Uh, don't want to get flanked, so we'll stick behind him. Oh, we got stunned. Heal. Right, stab, stab, swipe. Stab. And go. Right. In here. Templar is almost dead. I don't think the Templar is going to live. Right, stun, 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 stun. Unless the Templar has to live, in which case we're doing well. My wisdom, it will let you see. And now I wake. His wisdom. Spirit makes you resilient to magic, vulnerable in, f in physical combat. Also allows you think, see things that are normally hidden in the folds of the fade. You know, like doors. Yet where this is going? So I think that door earlier we could open. Now we've got this huge room filled with enemies. I uh, believe spirit's actually quite useful for it. Winter's grasp, crushing prism, regeneration. Uh, we don't really want to use this yet. We want to go and have a look for more abilities. So, we head back down here. We should be able to find some more abilities. Somewhere along here, or at one of the... Actually, I think you can't get to the end of the... I don't believe you can get to the end, end of any of these areas without having all the abilities. So we're going to jump to a different one of these areas and try and find another ability. Uh, okay, so go into mouse form. I believe in each of these uh, little air, starting areas you, found, you find an ability. Essence of Cunning. Perfect. We'll take the free stat increases. Imagine if you were trying to min-max this, what you would do is you would go to the Fade pretty early, and you would deliberately not uh, level anything that you would get in the Fade. But we're not doing that. Also believe the first time I did this, I also had, like, I was a rogue and had stealth, so it was very easy. Because I could just stealth through the entire thing. Well, apart from the fire. Fire's pretty annoying. But, if I remember right, fire is what we get next. Get the ability to deal with that next. Mouse form. Stealth. Right. In here. Just continue going along. Mm. Okay. Into the next room. Uh, out of mouse form. Sweep. Stun. Kick. Stab. It's almost like my basic attacks just did more. Which they probably do. Oh, we got the paralysis chance. Perfect. Uh, what's in there? Let's just get to this area, I think. 
We got a massive door. We can't get through that yet. Anyway, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.